The Falklands War, also known as the Falklands Conflict, was a military conflict between Argentina and the United Kingdom in 1982. The war was fought over the disputed ownership of the Falkland Islands, a group of islands in the South Atlantic Ocean that are located approximately 300 miles off the coast of Argentina. The conflict lasted for 10 weeks and resulted in the deaths of approximately 649 Argentine military personnel, 255 British military personnel, and three Falkland Islanders. The reasons for the war were complex and multifaceted. One of the main factors was Argentina's long-standing claim to the Falkland Islands, which they refer to as the Malvinas. Argentina had claimed the islands since the early 19th century, but Britain had maintained control of the islands since 1833. The dispute over the Falklands had been a source of tension between the two countries for many years, and had led to a number of diplomatic incidents in the past. Another factor that contributed to the conflict was the political situation in Argentina at the time. In 1982, Argentina was ruled by a military junta that was facing growing political unrest at home. The junta believed that a military victory in the Falklands would help to unite the country behind their leadership and distract from domestic issues. The junta also believed that the UK would not respond militarily to an invasion of the islands. The conflict began on April 2, 1982, when Argentine forces invaded the Falkland Islands, taking control of the islands and capturing the British governor. The UK responded by sending a task force to retake the islands, and a naval task force was dispatched to the South Atlantic. The UK's response was driven by a number of factors, including a desire to maintain control over the Falklands, to protect the rights of the islanders, and to uphold international law. The Falklands War was fought primarily at sea and in the air, with a number of naval engagements taking place between the British and Argentine forces. The UK also launched a land invasion of the islands, which resulted in the surrender of the Argentine forces on June 14, 1982. The war was a significant victory for the UK, but it was also a costly conflict, both in terms of the lives lost and the economic cost of the conflict. In the aftermath of the conflict, both Argentina and the UK made efforts to resolve the long-standing dispute over the Falklands. However, despite numerous diplomatic initiatives, the dispute remains unresolved to this day. The Falklands War remains a significant event in the history of both Argentina and the UK, and it serves as a reminder of the importance of diplomacy in resolving disputes between nations. The Falklands War conflict resulted in the deaths of approximately 649 Argentine military personnel, 255 British military personnel, and three Falkland Islanders. It is widely believed that the Falklands War could have been avoided through diplomacy and negotiation. Both Argentina and the UK had made diplomatic efforts to resolve the dispute over the Falkland Islands in the years leading up to the conflict. However, these efforts were unsuccessful, and the situation escalated when Argentina decided to take military action by invading the islands. Many historians and analysts have argued that there were missed opportunities for both Argentina and the UK to resolve the dispute peacefully. Some have suggested that the UK could have done more to engage in meaningful negotiations with Argentina and address some of their concerns about the status of the Falkland Islands. Others have criticized the Argentine military junta for its decision to invade the islands and escalate the conflict. Regardless of the specific factors that led to the outbreak of the war, it is clear that there were opportunities for both sides to pursue a peaceful resolution of the dispute. The Falklands War remains a reminder of the importance of diplomacy and negotiation in resolving conflicts between nations. In the lead-up to the Falklands War, there was a significant degree of political consensus in the UK that military action was necessary in order to retake the Falkland Islands. The UK government, led by Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, was determined to uphold the sovereignty of the Falklands and protect the rights of the islanders, who were British citizens. There was also a sense, among many in the UK, that a failure to respond to the Argentine invasion would be seen as a sign of weakness and could encourage other countries to challenge UK sovereignty in other parts of the world. In the aftermath of the conflict, 
there was some criticism of the UK government for its handling of the situation and for the decision to go to war. However, in general, the decision to use military force to retake the Falklands was widely supported across the political spectrum in the UK. It is worth noting that the political consensus in the UK regarding the Falklands War did not extend to the wider international community. Many countries, including those in the non-aligned movement, condemned the use of military force in the conflict and called for a peaceful resolution of the dispute. However, the UK government argued that it had a legitimate right to defend its sovereignty and protect the rights of the Falkland Islanders. The Falklands War offers several important lessons that can be applied to modern conflicts and international relations. First, the conflict underscores the importance of diplomacy and negotiation in resolving disputes between nations. Both Argentina and the UK had opportunities to engage in meaningful dialogue and address each other's concerns prior to the outbreak of hostilities. Had diplomacy been pursued more vigorously and effectively, it is possible that the conflict could have been avoided altogether. Second, the Falklands War highlights the dangers of escalation and the risks associated with the use of military force. The decision to invade the Falklands ultimately led to a full-scale conflict that resulted in the loss of many lives and significant economic and social costs for both Argentina and the UK. This should serve as a reminder of the need for caution and careful consideration before resorting to military action. Third, the Falklands War demonstrates the importance of international law and respect for the sovereignty of nations. The UK government argued that it had a legitimate right to defend its sovereignty over the Falkland Islands, while Argentina claimed that the islands rightfully belonged to them. The conflict underscores the need for a clear and consistent framework for resolving territorial disputes and the importance of upholding international law and norms. Finally, the Falklands War highlights the value of effective communication and transparency in international relations. There were misunderstandings and miscommunications on both sides of the conflict, which contributed to the escalation of hostilities. Clear and effective communication, as well as transparency and a willingness to engage in dialogue, can help prevent misunderstandings and build trust between nations. Overall, the Falklands War offers important lessons that can be applied to modern conflicts and international relations. By promoting diplomacy and negotiation, avoiding escalation, upholding international law and norms, and fostering effective communication, we can work towards a more peaceful and stable world. Thank you.